become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here today i'd like to share an awesome and unique forearm routine as described by silver era legend leo robert the routine consisting of five exercises can be viewed as a forearm specialization routine and can be performed at home with minimal equipment. All that is actually needed is a stool and ideally a barbell and dumbbell set. But then again, any form of resistance can be used. Leo Robert presents some very unique forearm exercises in this routine that he developed, and I hope you enjoy it. Here is an awesome shot of Leo displaying his phenomenal arms to a young admirer. Awesome. Now, Leo Robert's forearm program is listed here and it should be performed after a regular workout, as he recommends, three to four days a week. And he also recommends to go as heavy as possible because you're not going to be using high repetitions. You're actually only going to be using 10 reps for every set. Therefore, you want to go as heavy as possible. The program is as follows. The seated supinated wrist curl, the Leo Robert reverse curl, the pronated wrist curl, the Zotman curl, and another Leo Robert specialty uh, for, curl for the forearm, that is the Leo Robert wrist curl, which I'll go through all in great detail. Leo Robert also recommends for the acquirement of strength and size in the forearm that um, the crusher, uh, the iron shoe and leverage bell apparatuses can be used to further gain strength, grip strength, that is forearm strength and size, all of which are still available, especially through uh, Robert Baraban's website, um, which, I've gonna, which I'm going to link in the description below. The first exercise listed is the seated supinated wrist curl with a barbell. It's going to work the forearm supinators. And as Leo uh, Robert recommends, you want to grab a barbell, sit on a bench with your forearms resting on the thighs. Uh, the, the wrist should be bent down and the palms up, so your hand should be in a supinated um, grip. And you want to curl the barbell up and then lower down and repeat for three sets of 10 repetitions. The second exercise listed is the Leo Robert reverse curl. And I call it the Leo Robert reverse curl because he adds his own special trick to it, which I really enjoy actually. Um, you want, as, as Leo recommends, you wanna hold a barbell at the thighs with your arms ex uh, pretty much completely extended. So your, the barbell should be resting on the thighs as you're standing with the weight. But if you already look at the image uh, and the image I've supplied here, you can see that Leo Robert's wrists are actually curled in towards his body. I just want you to have a real close look at the photo here. You can see his wrists are actually curled in. Not only are his wrists up and uh, sorry pronated, but they're actually a little bit curled in. So he starts in this position. He begins to curl the weight up to about 90 degrees to his body. So basically the lower arms are now parallel to the floor. And he states, hold the weight here at that particular point where your lower arms are 90 degrees to the to your body and parallel to the floor. And you want to straighten and then curl uh, the, the barbell using your wrist strength alone, but start to curl the knuckles up towards the shoulder. And so you're really going to be using here two motions. You're not just going to be reverse curling as normal, which in involves the elbow joint, but you're actually going to be adding the little wrist curl to the reverse curl. It's kind of a double action for the wrists. And this is why it's a particular movement that Leo Robert really enjoyed, the Leo Robert reverse curl. Then you lower the wrists and then the arms and repeat. You're going to have to use a much lighter weight than usual because it does involve that much more effort from the wrist itself. It's not a pure reverse curl as most people do. It's basically doing a reverse curl with a wrist curl on top. And you want to use a lightweight that you can uh, perform for 10 reps over three sets. The next exercise is the pronated wrist curl. Again, you want to grab a barbell, this time sit on a bench 
and rest your forearms on your thighs, but this time having your arms in a pronated position, you let the wrists bend down. And then your wrist curl, so your knuckles curl up towards the ceiling. You lower and repeat using a weight that you can uh, perform three sets of 10 repetitions. He does stress to fully extend and contract and not just pump out the weights, oh, sorry, pump out the reps. You wanna fully extend and contract and really think about your forearm extensors here when you're doing this particular movement. The fourth exercise, I have to admit, is also one of my favorites. favorites. That's the, um, the Zotman curl. Now, this was actually created by a famous strongman back in the Bronze Era called George Zotman, and I will have to do a video on him in the future. You stand and grab two dumbbells, and let's say you're going to start curling, doing the Zotman curl with, with, uh, with the right arm, because it is an alternating exercise. You alternate curls from right to left, from right to left. So let's say you're going to start curling the right dumbbell to your shoulder. You do that whilst having your right arm in a supinated position. So you're gonna curl that right dumbbell as if you're doing an, uh, a, a basic dumbbell curl up to your shoulder with the wrist supinated. Now you pronate your right, your right wrist so your palms are facing down. And as you begin to now lower the right arm and the right dumbbell, you begin to curl the left dumbbell with the left wrist supinated, right? And so it ends up being an alternated motion uh, of, of, of kind of alternating the arms using this wrist turning action. This is the Zotman curl performed uh, the correct way. You want to choose a dumbbell weight that you can perform three sets of 10 repetitions. Now the last exercise is one again invented by Leo Robert called the Leo Robert lying wrist curl. Incredible. Again, he's just using a bench here, a stool, and he's lying his upper torso on it, facing the ceiling after having grabbed two dumbbells in each, so two dumbbells, one in each hand, of course. And his palms, as you can see, are actually also facing the ceiling, right? So he's lying on that stool, Two, two dumbbells in both of his hands uh, with palms facing the ceiling. And he lets his arms hang as, as far down as comfortably possible. And he begins to curl the wrists up and down without moving the upper arms. That's the whole motion. So it's a very unusual wrist curl. I've never seen anyone do this kind of wrist curl before. Um, hence, it's called the Leo Robert uh, lying wrist curl. Uh, as, according to Leo Robert, this particular wrist curl makes your forearms absolutely scream. They're going to be burning like crazy. So uh, choose a lightweight to start to, and then perform three sets of 10 repetitions. And that's the program itself. Now, if you are interested in learning more about different silver era techniques used by the champs such as Steve Reeves, get on my website for several books that I've got available such as How I Develop My Waist and How I Develop Broad Shoulders from Steve Reeves, both available on my website, plus plenty more on www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching this video on Leo Robert's forearms routine, some very unique exercises given today, and I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll leave you with this awesome photo of Leo Robert. He had such a fantastic, classic physique. Um, I've always enjoyed looking at these photos of Leo. Uh, he had this very Herculean physique, really, um, reminiscent of, of the likes of Reg Park. Very classic, fantastic abdominals, awesome arm development, a full package, wonderful. And I really enjoy all of Leo Robert's articles because he has a very holistic approach to developing his forearms and he always comes up with different kinds of exercise, very unique exercises for his particular physique. Always enjoy uh, reading and sharing stuff on Leo Robert. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please give the video a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me your comments. Thank you for watching and please share. Please support my channel through PayPal, Patreon, get on my website for how to print books and courses on old school bodybuilding. And of course, email me if you wish to collaborate or pass on your relics and literature. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. 
And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.